I'm Nick Altmeyer with LincolnLewisCounty.com. We're here this afternoon at Lewis County General Hospital with CEO Jerry Kerr, and we're here to talk a little bit about the uh, new helicopter landing zone that's going to be take, uh, established here at the hospital. So currently you guys use Climax Manufacturing, which is kind of over across the street, the, the former Climax building. Right. Um, every time you have an emergency where the helicopter has got to come in or transport a patient from the hospital, generally they land across the street, the fire department has to be dispatch to set up a zone so that's something you guys are looking to establish here at the hospital so can you talk a little bit about sure so there are 16 landing zones in Lewis County mm -hmm. one of those landing zones is at the former climax uh, site um, as you know that complex is is in the process of being redeveloped mm -hmm. and uh, so that's one essential issue the other is the, the amount of resource that's used every time the helicopter is activated. You're bringing fire department, mm -hmm. search and rescue, and law enforcement. So we have an area at the hospital that met the requirements for a landing zone. We worked with Mercy Flight to evaluate, guide us, and essentially approve the site. Okay. So all of that has now occurred. Mm -hmm. And the next step is there's some um, changes to the landing zone that we have to make. Mm -hmm. So we have to remove some shrubbery, okay. a couple of trees, we have to recoat the area that will be the landing zone and make mm -hmm. the appropriate helicopter landing markings. Okay. We need to install lights. Okay. Um, simple running of power cord will mm -hmm. accomplish that. We have to put a couple of wind socks up uh, and we're installing a new fence so we keep it separate from the rest of the parking area. Okay. There's a direct um, access point to the emergency department so no other vehicles will be involved whether someone is uh, coming in to pick someone up. Mm -hmm or in the event um, someone is coming from another part of the county and being brought to our landing zone. No um, ambulance will be needed. Just the ambulance that's transporting the person initially. Right. So we're not going to need ambulances to go from our emergency department to the helicopter. Okay. Um, right now we're projecting it's going to take eight weeks, maybe a little less, and that's really a function of securing uh, the individuals putting the fence up, mm -hmm. sealing the landing zone, mm -hmm. and painting the markings. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some expense to us, and I'm projecting at this point it's going to be around $12,000 okay. to accomplish that. But when you look at that against the resources that are deployed, right. we will very quickly make that up. Right. And of the 16 landing zones in the county, obviously the one that's right here that the hospital directly impacts the hospital, uh, Climax was the one that was used the most. Right, that would impact the hospital, correct. Right. But we're fortunate in Lewis County, the, the work that Mercy Flight has done with right. you know, the, the local EMS providers mm -hmm. to create this network of 16 mm -hmm. landing zones is really quite remarkable. Right. Um, but for, for the greater Lowville area, right. for the hospital proper, this makes a lot of good sense. Right. Okay, and then I know at some point there was this, uh, some discussion of whether to actually go with like a helipad and things like that. So this is kind of a more, much more cost effective option and something that can be uh, initiated almost immediately. Right. The, the landing zone versus a helicopter pad, there is a distinct difference from a regulatory environment. Mm -hmm. One requires FAA oversight, the other does not. And for our purposes, it's really medical evacuations. And for medical evacuations, the, la the designated landing zone is appropriate. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we look forward to seeing that go into effect, and we appreciate you explaining that to our uh, audience today. All right. I appreciate yep, that. Thank have you. a good day.